turns out that it has antiviral properties against DNA and RNA viruses. And we've known this actually a long time, even before our pandemic. It also has very profound anti-cancer properties that are also currently being studied. Now, it's a fairly cheap medication, so it seems that these studies are a bit sluggish because there's not much funding sometimes, right? Now, as it comes to its antiviral properties, so there were a lot of studies during our pandemic, and some of them were promising, others didn't show much effect. And that was actually quite interesting to me, because when we look at how it affects viruses, it's actually quite profound. Now, there are at least four mechanisms that ivermectin has specifically against viruses. But when we look at the whole toolkit of ivermectin, its antiparasitic properties is a very small percentage. Again, the higher percentage would be the antiviral and anti-cancer properties. And it's an interesting medication now, again, because now we have some research going on, at least in, in both of those directions. Now, when it comes to the antiviral properties, ivermectin can help to prevent the virus from entering the cell. So a lot of the disease can be prevented in, in that respect. But then, of course, some viruses will always be able to do so. And once the virus is in the cell, one thing it does, it sends a copy to the nucleus of the cell to downregulate the immune response. And actually, that's actually very important for the virus to successfully replicate in our cells. So it kind of turns off the alarm bells. And ivermectin is actually very good at preventing the entry of a copy of the virus into the nucleus. So it does that actually very efficiently. And again, that's for both uh, DNA and RNA viruses. Then furthermore, it can uh, decrease the ability of the virus to replicate itself in the cell. And as a fourth mechanism, it can decrease an inflammatory response that usually happens later. So once the virus is actually sort of mitigated, there's still this inflammatory reaction of the immune system. And you might remember this uh, from our pandemic. It was called the cytokine storm. That's one example of this. And this is something where ivermectin is actually quite successful anti-inflammatory, and it can prevent this from becoming problematic. So these actually are quite profound mechanisms against viruses that ivermectin has. Now, these are, of course, preclinical studies.